Hello everybody, welcome to Season 8, Episode 2 of a show I like to call Finding Rocks with Dr. Jack Horner. <laughs> Super niche, niche show. Um, doctor, tell us what we're up to today on our rock hunt. Well, here we stand. We're right here on the, on the northern border of Yellowstone National Park, which means south of us is Yellowstone. North of us is the Beartooth Wilderness with a little ranch sandwiched in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we are on Slough Creek. And Slough Creek is a is a valley that that shows evidence of a lot of glaciation. We see uh, we see moraines, these gravel, these piles of gravel along the base of the mountains here, and they're very straight. And if you went over there, they're just piles and piles of gravel. And so the glacier came from came from the north, came through the valley, headed to the south, and as it scraped its way through. It uh, dug down through, made a valley basically here, and dug down through layers and layers of rock, representing millions and millions of years. So, and this that layer right there that we can see is exposed. The one now, what that, is that? So the layer that's exposed right here, there's actually a bunch of layers exposed. Mm -hmm. um, this lighter colored one. Um, that we see on this side mm -hmm. and on the opposite side. A big cliff forming rock unit. That is uh, Devonian limestone, about 350 million years old. And it represents an ocean, a uh, tropical ocean. Mm. At the time that that was an ocean, this part of Montana and Wyoming was on the equator right. and the supercontinent of Pangaea was starting to come together mm -hmm. and so here we you know here we can literally look at the at the bottom of the ocean 350 million years ago on the equator radical and so cool <laughs> it's limestone is a good source for fossils. It is. And some of that Devonian limestone has been broken apart by glaciers and weather and fallen down here. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is a cool place for where we're standing here. Mm -hmm. We can we can see this valley up uh, off to the east and and we see a lot of boulders and stuff strewn on on this this plain out here where there really aren't very many trees. And this is actually a mudslide. This is an mm -hmm. old ancient mudslide that came off of the bigger mountains here right. and, and, and brought down pieces of all the different layers of rock. So there are layers of lava up there that are 40 million years old and there are older rocks from the Cambrian that are 500 million years old. So, but that lighter colored limestone mm -hmm. This Devonian age stuff is pretty easy to spot when you're right. walking around out here because of its color. And so just walking around looking at the ground, we can see we see a lot of uh, dark colored rocks. This uh, here's a piece of lava. Mm -hmm. uh, is it basalt? This, this is basalt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, the, oh, basically all the dark colored rocks are basalt. Mm hmm. Um, and some of it is actually really lava, I mean, that flowed out. And then some of these whiter rocks mm -hmm. are granite, mm -hmm. and they're really old. They're probably, mm -hmm. they're probably coming off of the, that mountain is called Cutoff, and it's probably coming off of um, some part of Cutoff. And granite is... Lava that never came out, right? It just cooled, that's yeah, that's and it never igneous, came out of volcano. Igneous rock that that did not 
come out in the volcano. Right. right. Yeah. So when we're so for me, a paleontologist, I don't really care about the basalt. I don't care about the granite, but mm -hmm. I but I do like the Devonian, so <laughs> I just wander around in this field because this lands, this big mudslide has brought, basically brought the mountain down to me. I don't have to walk up there. And I, we came out yesterday, trilobite hunting and looking at all kinds of stuff. What have you found out here, not just this year, but in the past that has surprised you or well, pleased I've, you? I've actually found, I found a number of fossils that I can't even identify and so I don't even know really what they are but usually we get you know here's a piece of the limestone right here mm -hmm. this, is a, this is actually a really nice piece and you can see these these structures here those mm. are crinoids mm -hmm. those are um, they're they're like a they, uh, they look like a plant but they're actually related to us like a starfish mm. And um, that's what we see primarily in the, mm -hmm. in these rocks are crinoids, and sometimes we find horn corals. Um, this is actually a good one. I haven't seen this particular rock, so I'm going to take a picture of it too. You don't have to walk that far to find something interesting, do you? No, you don't. So that's a very nice piece. Like I say, we find horn corals as well, and we find brachiopods, which are like clams, kind of a mollusk, um, like a clam. Um, it's possible to find shark teeth. Right. Um, and like I say, we, last year I found something. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just yeah. cool, you know? I mean, I normally study dinosaurs, and. Yeah, and you know, I just—I'm a paleontologist. I like—I like looking at yeah. the Devonian just as well as looking for dinosaurs. Yeah. Well, you know, I try to encourage people to get into science as much on, as possible on this, and I am biased because I was in geophysics, and I know, mm -hmm. like, I just studied because I want to learn it. Right. I didn't want to get a, a job in geophysics. It's just. <laughs> Like, I, I think the right kind of stuff is not so that you're interesting to other people, but you're interesting to yourself. Right. And it's fun to walk around and look at stuff and kind of see what it is. Yeah. So we recommend geology, everybody. Yes, we do. Fantastic. Um, Jack, you're a real inspiration. You've really changed me. Um, it makes me tearing <laughs> up thinking about how much you've changed me. Wow. Um, so thank you for being awesome. You're a real inspiration. Thank you, Dre.